Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. Thanks so much for the interest and for stopping by. The contributions, uh, the help guys, sharing, etc. Um, I got a contribution today. Uh, Russ Brock, bro, thanks for the generous contributions, the several contributions you've given to the channel and the support, man, for being here, part of the community. Why are we looking at these? I love these objects. Jellyfish. The tether incident. Tether incident, T-E-T-H-E-R, STS-75 mission. Listen, they um, had an incident where a tether broke off and they were filming this object in space and straight up jellyfish-like objects were flying by, okay? And I'm saying flying by, but listen, the actual vi video, I have to say this, go back and see it, nobody's noticing or talked about it anywhere. He says objects are swimming by and they really do seconds, look like they're swimming the by channel. and you know what 12, that tether 11, incident video 10, is definitely 9, definitely living biological creatures five four three two one zero all engine running we have a liftoff liftoff on apollo 11. so yeah color on the lunar surface this is the apollo 11 moon landing, real footage. This is footage that has no copyrights and free to do what we want with it because it's the only uh, clip that they left. You know, I guess it's not much, you can't see much, but once enhanced, we're looking at color on the surface of the moon, right? And as for the way they're landing, there's a problem with the height level they should still be right now at thousands of feet over the lunar surface but here so long me right we can see them already landing the the craft is already touching the ground there but we do see a lot of color and as you see as we go um, on here in several frames we'll see another frame where we'll look at structures or structuring again built objects just to show you that in this real Apollo footage, um, you know, doing a quick technique-ish sort of... Do you understand, guys? I'm trying to show you I'm doing what I'm doing with my photos. And this is straight up footage and enhanced the way I usually enhance my own regular footage. And uh, we're seeing colors on the surface. But aside from the colors, NASA themselves got structuring on the surface. No, it's really true. I'm telling you. Here's some color that we can see on the surface. Take a look at that. Purple rocks, Neil, I told you. Well, he said it himself, right? And we see lights blinking in the darkness. Um, and I'm not talking about the old film. We do see black specks appearing here and there. But yeah, we see sort of a little bit of activity further out. And a green surface with a flag that is no way in hell there. Now look at the size of this flag, guys. Some of you ask me if I have such a good telescope, why am I not able to get the flag? Seriously? Now I wonder why they didn't put any color or enhance this footage. <clears throat> Anyone? Here we see a very colorful surface. The surface is, is so colorful, whether it's minerals, whether it's um, vegetation. Take a look at this. This is while they are taking off, okay? There's something to me about the height. It looks to me they'd be like 80,000 feet high or 50,000 feet high, and they just seem to have apparently taken off. But look at the color. Not just a little color. We're seeing a lot of greenery. Just showing you guys what I see. We just saw a flicker of light inside that. What? That's not a crater. Does that look like a crater to you guys? There's another light source that you'll see in the dark right there on the crater, uh, sorry, on the moon's outer limits. There we go. We just saw it just before the footage changed. So this is Apollo 11 NASA footage and it's free of copyright. So this is why I use this one. There's many uh, NASA videos I'd like to talk about, but I honestly do not know where to look for the ones that we can 
modify or change or or not change but but use commercially so if anyone does have an ideal I'd, I'd appreciate a couple of links yeah beautiful colored surface really does look like vegetation and if it's not well we got ourselves a problem because for us to have been told the moon was gray you must agree with me that it was a deliberate action and to cause um, everyone in the world to think the moon was gray so that of course they could continue on probably mining or doing whatever they want secretively all while obtaining the funding they need let me put it this way guys have you ever heard of a problem in our government that did not have to do with a money issue of course not that's what makes the system go around that bloody green paper right and if there was no money in life what would be the use of any government or alien species being here to profit from us so right? here's the back of my telescope this is the head of the telescope the optical tube i went to get something so that i'll be able to view the moon this is my dslr 3400 d3400 from nikon very good camera 24 megapixels and it's what i use to view the moon so, uh, but now again i had just a small screen to be able to view the moon and now i'm going to show you what i'm going to be able to do i went to get an hdmi cable from a small hdmi to a large hdmi and in the side of my camera now there i'll be able to have this plugged in to my big television with this end here of course just a regular hdmi wire that will now fit in to a regular television set but i'll be able to view that with it be able to get a better uh, focus on the telescope etc so yeah give you an idea it's fifty dollars i went to get a hdmi longer cable though i had a short one and this one i went to get a nice long one Russ Brock, thanks for the generous donations, brother. 